Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm King Posture, host for today's show. So here we are, we're looking at the 2003 Toyota APR Performance Celica GTS. It is front wheel drive, just like the Beetle that I just showed, and it's right there, you can see it. Front wheel drive, it looks like it should be rear wheel drive, but it's front wheel drive. And we are gonna test it out and see what it can do. What do we got? We got 233 horsepower, 172 pounds of torque. It weighs 2,500 pounds, and there's 60% of the weight on the front wheels. Of course, it would be because that's where the engine is. Let's get right into it. Let's see what this thing can do. Is there anything we can jump into? anything at all I would like to take it on something new there we go we got something and we're going right to Discuba for seven laps and then we'll take it on the longest track and see how fast we can go because this is a small track. And these are the cars that I really want to, to come back into the Forza series. Um, this one especially, it's, it looks great. It looks cool. And we need to have it back. and having it look exactly like this. That front tire spin. It's definitely quicker than the, uh, the Beetle. Don't want to run into him. I can fly right by him. Nope. Nope. I mean, he's a fox hall. Oh, contact. Take in the outside line. Hey, for this front wheel drive, it handles pretty darn well. Let off that throttle. Just blowing them out of the water. In fact, can we get this a little difficult? Because I, I, I see this as uneasy. Make it a challenge at least. I pressed restart. I was hoping I... Yes, there we go. Change difficulty. What do we got it on? Easy. Alright, let's go on hard. Make it, uh, make it more of a challenge. Tire spin. Isn't that just great graphics? Really hugging that turn. I don't really follow the line too much. I'm a rule breaker. Man, I didn't get any closer. To getting into like second place or whatnot. I think we're gonna get third in this one. 
I might have to bring it down to medium. This thing cannot compete with these rear engine rear wheel drive cars. They're just pulling away. Even if I follow the line. Front engine, front wheel drive, oh, went off the track. Front engine, front wheel drive versus, you know, mid engine, rear wheel drive. Doesn't compare. We are trying our hardest to get up there, and it's just not happening. Oh, we stopped. It happened. We got up there. You know, it blew the engine. Pushing. Zoe. Shh. You're fine. Kind of messed up that gearing. Focusing on two different things right now. I'm pushing hard on that turn. You know, I got a penalty out of it, and I still can't even catch up. Hard turn. Oh, that burn really screwed me over. Gonna get it. Not even a close. Yeah, that burn really just slows me down. He's right there, too. across the line. Man, that was a challenge. Man, 5,000 we got out of that. All right, kind of got a reward, a major reward. Oh hey, we are going to the uh, the New York circuit anyways. Four laps. Except this time, 
I say we bring down the, the, the difficulty. I'd like to get first. I want to make money on this. If you're not first, you're last. Shake and bake, baby. Like, at least give me a fight for first. I couldn't even get up to first to even have a fight. Take down the medium. Try that out. Give me, give me a chance here. I mean, this this car stock. Fish. Man, there's some pull. That little twitch is pulling on me. Medium and they're still just smoking me. Unreal. One twenty four, I can see. Love tap. See now now it's interesting. Excuse me. Man, this thing turns. That's better. That, that was a nice challenge. This thing still likes to pull. A little smash in the front. How fast does this thing go? 150, it says. Don't know that for sure yet. on that turn. Half boost. Well, it has, I mean, it could be five pounds of boost and that the, the one could be ten. I'm, I'm not sure. Or it could be, you know, 0. 0.5 pounds of boost. Somebody can tell me how that works. Drifting. All that smoke. We're doing good. We're going to get that win. And then we're going to see his top speed. We're going to take on the uh, oval track and See if it goes 150. We're 125, hard on the brakes. Hit that e brake. Hit that e brake again. Drop the gear. Didn't want to drift. Keeps on going. These guys are right there. We could have possibly done this on hard. I mean, they are right there. Drifting front wheel drive. Couldn't have any of that fun if I had it on hard. Though. So. And the baby is just. It's cranky when she's about to go and take a nap. Gorgeous. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Come on. Oh, crap. 
Last lap, too. Wish you guys could see uh, this, but it's a dark game. It really is. Come on. Get up to speed. And now I'm taking the outside line. This car is smashed, but we're doing good. And we're still going to win. Barely. It's really pulling now. Look at that damage. And across the line. Oh my goodness. I will take that 7,000. Wow. What an amazing finish, ladies and gentlemen. Totally not paying attention, completely smash into a wall, spin around, do a little dance, and we are able to get a win. Wow. Let's go give this thing the test drive it needs. Alright, we're not going to look at the benchmark yet. Just see what this thing can do on the oval. On the Nissan Speedway. If there's any cars you guys would like to see in any of the Forza series from Forza 1 to the current Forza, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be switching from Forza 1 all the way up to like 7. We're just going to pick the strangest vehicles and take them out and see, see what they can do. Stock. I mean, the, the newer forces, we can look at the interiors and whatnot. And the graphics are not bad on here for uh, being, you know, well, it's on 1080. I can put on 4K-ish, but it makes it darker. Um, don't know why, but it does. Uh, I can also run 1440. Which is just a step below 4K, but it's still it's still just as dark. Um, I guess it's smoother. I really didn't see a difference. But like my Elgato that I'm that you guys are watching on right now is only a 1080p uh, anyway, so that's what I'm running on. And we got 138 miles per hour. That's what we. Can not the 150, it says, right there. Uh, still not a bad speed for a front-wheel drive, you know, sports car. I know a lot of you have the Celica in real life, and I'm pretty sure you would love it to look just like this, because this thing is sick looking. It's just mean. I want to know if I would, you know, attempt to race it if I pulled up beside it. It just looks fast. And it is. It's not that bad. So, 138 was our, our speed last time. Can we beat that? I'm giving it all she's got. 139 and it was 139 miles per hour not too shabby and 
is a good speed for a front wheel drive sports car. Now let's look at that spec on the benchmark and see what its actual are. So 0 to 60 in 5.4, 0 to 114 with a top speed of 142 that we couldn't see. Not too bad. Not too bad for the APR Celica. It's a $21,000 car. And let's see, is there, there's, there's stuff we can buy. I don't know, it's really all in this. I just think it's stock. It looks stock. We can definitely uh, increase power. There's a whole lot, a slew of options. Ah, uh, it has a supercharger. I thought it was turbocharged. It has a supercharger. My bad. I was wrong. I thought it was turbo. But, yep, so it's got a supercharger. Sweet. Well, let's... Let's see what this bad boy can do. Let's get it right to the high B class. Oh, hey, what else we got? Oh, we can make it real. We'll drive, guys. Look at that. That is an option. That one's already got that in there. That takes it to a 681. Oh, that's it. There, there's the A class bumping right there. A class it right there. B700, exactly. 321 horsepower. Now it should go up to 150 miles per hour. I would think so. So we're going to test it out and let's see if it does. These are all the tracks you can pick. See, these are the tracks I miss. Um, they need to just bring back Copperhead um, for us. I mean, look at that. What a fun track. And then it, it, then it goes on reverse. I mean, that is the drift track of everybody's dreams right there. And they need to bring back the King Cobra. At least bring back King Cobra to the new forces. This is a long video. I didn't expect it to be this long. I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys want to stop and take a break and come back, you're more than welcome to. But I want to see what this top speed is. And I should be able to put it on hard and keep up with those cars now. Lots of wheel spin. Definitely quicker. Still says 150 on the speedo. I'm hoping we can do it this time. We're going to pass 139, there it is. And smashing. 152. 153. Now, now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. It is pushing. It's pulling to the side there. Come on, hit 155. 155! Are we going to get into the right thing? Alright. And it stops on a dime. Much, much better. 155 miles per hour. I'm very impressed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Benchmarks? 
0 to 60 in 4.9, 0 to 111 seconds, and it says a top speed of 154.5, but we smashed that at 155. I'm so glad you guys are here to see that happen, and I hope you guys are enjoying these small tidbits of videos that I am pulling out for you guys. And yeah, so um, look forward to seeing more in the future. Well guys, thanks for sticking through if you did. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please smash that like. If you'd like to see some more cars, you know, please let me know in the comments below if there's like a certain car you want to see. I will try to get it when I can. Uh, I got to do a lot of races and save up some money, but we'll get there. Um, like I said probably in my last video, this is not my original Xbox 360. My original Xbox 360 a long time ago, I got rid of it and got a new one and sold it with everything on it and all my data and everything. So I had to start all over on, on these ones, but that's not a problem. I enjoy um, playing Forza. So, yeah. Alright guys, well hey, thanks for watching. Peace out. I'm King Posh.